Hello, I'm Ian Clark from Inubis, and today we are demonstrating our Inubis Development System, or DS. In this demonstration, we will do a format conversion from a flat file to an XML file, called a mapping. Start by creating a new mapping by clicking on the New Mapping button on the toolbar. Select Flat File in the From category and XML in the To category, and press OK. We have now created a mapping for conversion from flat file format to XML format. The next step is to select a test file so that we have something to work with. It's an order file that looks like this. In this input file, OH marks an order header line and OR marks an order row. We have one order header and three order rows. We will now create the input side of the mapping, matching the format of the data we have just seen. Right click on the source file and select Insert Child, then Record from the pop up menu. We will give this record a name of Order Head and in the identifier box, OH. This matches the data we have just seen. To read the rest of the line, we need to add a field. Right click on the record and select Insert Child and Field. We will give the field a variable name of Company and set it to a maximum length of 6, as Inobis is 6 characters long. We have now defined the header row of the input file. Next, we define the order rows. Add another new record under source file, and this time give it a name order row and an identifier of OR. As there is more than one of these rows, we tell DS that the record is repetitive. Set the repetition mode to repetitive and give it at least three repetitions. Press OK. Note the icon in the mapping tree for OR is different. It has a repetitive marker on it. Next, we want to add a field for the order item. Just like before, right click on the record and insert a child field. This time we will call the field model and give it a maximum length of three. Now we are finished defining the source side of the mapping and can test it to make sure we have entered the information correctly. Before testing our input data, we need to tell DS which data we are using to test with. Use the Mapping Settings toolbar button. This brings up a lot of options, but we are only interested in one today. Go to the Test Files and Extra Arguments tab. Tell DS that we are specifying our own input data and select the Order In text file we saw before. Press OK and save the mapping with the Save button on the toolbar. Press the Execute and Continue button on the toolbar. Look in the Source Data pane and you can see our input data. Select Parse Document and you can see how DS sees the data. On the right, we can see the structure of the target data, currently empty. We can build up the mapping tree in a very similar way to the source tree, but you can also import XML schemas or XSDs. Right click on the root node and select Import and Import XSD Schema from the pop-up menu. Select a schema in the File Open dialog and press OK. As you can see, DS has imported the XSD information and created an XML tree for us. Note the elements called Order Head and Order Row. Note that the Order Row element on the right also has the repetitive symbol, just like OR on the left. Now we have defined the source and target formats, we need to set mappings between them. To map between them, drag the source structure elements to the target elements. We will map order head company on the flat file side to order head PC data on the right, and OR model to order row PC data. We'll also need to tell DS that every OR record will be mapped to an order row element. We are now finished mapping, and we can test it to see how we've done. Press the Execute and Continue button on the toolbar again, but this time we'll look at the target data pane instead. As you can see, it has XML data with the data from the flat file filled in. You can build many different mapping types in DS, and they are all built in the same way by making a source tree, a target tree, and mapping between them. For more questions, just contact us in, at Inobis. Contact information can be found on our website www.inobis.se.